I'm Nicholas. And I'm Abby. And we're at a Korean football game. Let's go learn more about Korean football. Woo! Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm here with Jordan. So Jordan, what got you ready for football in elementary school? Um, help me because whenever you're in elementary, you become friends, and then football is all about a brotherhood. So you want to build friendships, and yeah. Okay. So what position do you play? I play slot, running back, on offense. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm here with Brennan. So Brennan, what's your favorite part about playing Korean football? Um, I just love how it all brings us together. We all work hard, and we all got each other's backs. And what position do you play? Um, I'm those guard on defensive line. And what elementary school did you go to? Um, I went to Montford Heights in second grade, but I went to a lot of different elementaries in the district. Thank you. That was so interesting. Okay. Hi, I'm here with Javon Hicks, and he's a Korean football player. So Javon, what's Korean football about? Um, Korean football is about like competing. We're a good football team. It's a tradition, so we try to keep that tradition going. And what positions do you play? Receiver and corner. And what's your favorite part about Korean football? My favorite part about Korean football is that the coaches push you to the limit so there's, you can't be lazy, you always got to stay focused, so, yeah. Thank you. question. And by the way, this is the third season of Ask Dr. Mac, and it's been pretty successful so far, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Well, the question is, what do I think about Coleraine football? And really, I'm pretty excited, although I've been thinking a little bit about the Coleraine mascot. The Cardinal? Really? Cardinals? Why does it have to be Cardinal? Couldn't it be the Mighty duck. Quack, quack, quack. Get him, ducks. Quack, quack. Nah. How about the buckeye? The Coleraine buckeyes? No, that's been taken. How about I know sock monkeys? They are fierce. They are warriors. And they really know how to put up a good fight. Hey! 
Calm down, mister. There, much better. But the more that I think about it, the kernel is the best. And so I don't have any kernels in my display in my room. So I'm just going to take this piece of silly putty here and I'm going to make fashion myself a kernel and it's going to have wings to fly and a bill to get food with and talons to grab onto the branches and um, well I've got to go work on this so and that's what I think. Hi I'm Nicholas and I'm here with Michael and Everson. So Michael, why do you want to play Korean football? So um, I can crush people like LaSalle and run over people and the position I want to play is linebacker. Everson, why do you want to play Korean football? Uh, the reason I want to play Korean football is because uh, I want to truck people and play right receiver. Thank you. Hi, I'm Madeline and I'm here with Coach Bolton. So Coach Bolton, what's your favorite part about teaching Korean football? Uh, let's see, my favorite part is I get to spend time with a lot of great young men who uh, love the game of football just as much as I do. And what, what's it like um, coaching foreign football? Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's not just you know showing up at school and just doing it between school hours and just between practice. Uh, I'm with these boys a lot and I'm always there for them whether it's school hours, practice hours, the weekend. We, we spend a lot, a lot of time together. So. Uh, that, that's the biggest part is the time commitment that I have and the, foot and the players have. Okay, and what, uh, what do you have to do to play football and what are some lessons that you've learned from Well, that? you know, to play football, it, it's, it's you got to be very, very disciplined. We, like I said, we do a lot. We work out four days a week in the off season. We work out all summer. We had 113 workouts between last season and this season, and they're, they're hard workouts. And, and uh, but you know the biggest thing you need you need to be disciplined. You got to understand a lot of times uh, you're held to a higher standard when you're when you're a coring football player. There's a lot of expectations. We win a lot of football games, and I told the guys I said winning's just part of it. I said I want these guys when they come back and see me 10, 15 years from now that they're 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 good husbands, they're they're good dads, and 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 they've got their degrees or they've gone on to a trade school or the military or are just as long as they're productive citizens. So that's. That's the cool stuff, that's why I do it. I love being around the kids, I love spending time with you guys, that's why I'm here. This is actually a really, really neat setup you guys got going here at Montfort Heights. This rocks, this is really cool. This is the best interview I've ever done. Thank, great, thanks. Wow, it was so cool to learn about Korean football. It was really cool. Make the win, watch out! You won't get your head hit by a football! What? Uh-oh, kids just don't listen these days, man. That's why you get hit in the head by football. I'm Abby. I'm Tania. I'm Emily. I'm Jackson. I'm Madeline. I'm Katie. I'm Nicholas. And, and this, this is the ID Report! Report!